Hello from Mexico and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So this is part two of the virtual reality rendering of the home that we're building here in Mexico. I wanted to take you guys through not only the virtual reality rendering, but I also wanted to show you the floor plans that you can see behind me. So you guys can get an idea of how the house is laid out and why we made the decisions that we made with this home. Before we do that though, I do wanna say thank you once again to Brian and Wiz at Lens VR for putting this all together, especially Brian for, uh, for helping us design the beautiful roof to our home and also the stairs because we were undecided on both of those design aspects. And last but not least, I wanna thank each and every single one of you. When we originally moved to Puebla five years ago, we put together a 10 year plan and we were saving and thought that we wouldn't even start building our home for 10 years. When we started our t journey on TikTok, um, you guys asked for a YouTube channel and we thought what better way to get into our house and let you guys be a part of it than to ask you to watch some ads on YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we could do this. And it's now happening and that's that's because of each and every one of you. We hope to be in this home uh, within the next year, maybe a little bit sooner, uh, but this has been an incredible experience for both Fidel and I and even the boys because each one of us has been able to take part of this and honestly it's because of all of you so thank you thank you for being here thank you for supporting our family and thank you for helping us uh make this dream of ours a reality so i hope that you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like if you like what you're watching hit that thumbs up button and uh if you want to see more of our journey and be a part of what we're doing here uh don't forget to subscribe so here is the front of our home and then here is the back, and then you have two side views. So as you can see, the main floor has ceilings at a height of 10 feet. <laughs> There's Dominic. And then the second floor has ceilings at a height of eight. So the first floor of this house is uh, about 3,300 square feet. The second floor, as you can see up here, it does not span the garage and the, this portion of the house. So the second floor is about 2,000 square feet. All right, so here is the first floor of the house. And here's the second floor of the house. One of the things that Fidel did with this home was put in a lot of supports. So here you can see mapped out all of the columns that go into the house and, and uh, to keep it basically sturdy, right? <laughs> to keep it standing. So that's what all of these squares are that you see on the floor plan. But here's a map of all of the supports in the home. And then of course we have more of those support beams on the second floor. So really what you guys have seen us building so far is the foundation for the home, the footing or the cimientos. Um, Fidel has built the foundation in a way that it can support a whole lot of weight. In fact, way more weight than it will actually need to support. But one of the things that Fidel was really adamant about was wanting to make sure that this house has a very, very strong foundation. So that's what he's done. So now that they're getting to the point where they're wrapping that up, you'll start to see walls going up. But before we do that, let me take you through the virtual reality walkthrough so you can see what we anticipate our home will look like once it's completed. And here it is. Here is the front view of our home. I'm gonna walk you through all of the rooms that we have inside the home. First, we'll give you a better look of the front porch and the front balcony. We have some amazing views both in front and behind this house and we wanted to take full advantage of that. So now let's head inside. I'm gonna take you over to the dining room area first, but here are the arches that Fidel had designed for these house for this house. I just told him that I wanted arches and he ran with it and he came up with some beautiful arches to connect those columns that he put in. And I think they're probably the fanciest part of this house um, because we really did just stick to a very simple layout. So over here in the dining room area, we don't have the space currently to have really a, a whole lot of family gatherings. And this space will definitely give us that opportunity. And we're really excited about it because family gatherings are everything here. Um, I have also always been in really small kitchens. So this is probably my favorite feature of our house is this huge kitchen. When I get homesick, I cook because it reminds me of my mom and it reminds me of my grandma. I'm gonna try to do this without crying. 
and I've never had like a big space like this to do it in and now I finally will. So I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite room in the house. <laughs> uh, here's a different angle of it. We have a pantry and some storage under the stairs that you can see over there. So let me take you into this hallway and first we'll take you into the garage. This is a two car garage and we did uh, include a cutout for a workbench for Fidel. So he's really looking forward to that. When you go back into this hall, uh, you can get into our laundry room. We will have a lavadero outside. I like to have mine outside, but this is uh, a laundry room option in case I decide to get a dryer, which I'm still undecided on. Next is the master bedroom. And yes, it is a lot of space. One thing you're gonna hear me talk about a lot in this walkthrough is space. We didn't want anything complicated when it came to this home design. We weren't looking for anything big, fancy, extravagant. Um, we just wanted a lot of space. And the way that the roof was designed, it gave us this beautiful vaulted ceiling with these windows um, that added some extra light and just took our master bedroom design to the next level. <laughs> it turned out beautiful. Next, I'll take you into the master bathroom. Now the master bathroom does have a double sink, which Fidel and I have never had before. <laughs> and we've also never had our own bathroom. So, uh, and then of course a toilet, it'll have a stand, uh, stand up corner shower, and then a standalone bathtub in front of the window. I also didn't include footage of our closet because it's just a normal closet. <laughs> so let's take you guys back out through the dining room and past the stairs into the seating area. There is a coat closet and then an entryway area that leads into the living room. That entryway area probably won't have couches in it, although it does look really nice in this walkthrough. Um, we'll probably use that area to put up like our holiday stuff, um, our ofrenda for Dia de los Muertos and our Christmas tree, things like that. Here is the living room and Brian even took a seat <laughs> during this part of the walkthrough so that I could get an idea of what it looked like to sit in our living room, which I thought was great. And the living room does lead out to the back patio. The back patio uh, behind the house will be all of our animals. We haven't quite decided what we're gonna do with this space. Fidel, I think has a lot of big plans for it, which I'm really excited to see, but so far, I'm not sure what this space will turn into, <laughs> but it is a nice big space uh, with plenty of room for barbecuing and things like that. So excited about that as well. <laughs> now I'm gonna walk you over here. There are two storage closets if you see those extra doors, but this is my office space. Uh, for those of you that know, I work from home and I've never really had an office space. So this will be a brand new thing for me. And I am so excited about this office. Not as excited as the kitchen, but um, we also have a bathroom on this first floor. It is in between the two storage closets. So we're gonna walk you over to that bathroom as well so that you can see that. It is just a simple, basic bathroom layout. It will have a shower tub combo, which you don't see here in the virtual reality. You just see the tub, but it will have a shower on it as well. The boys both wanted bathtubs, so we made sure to include that in all of our bathrooms. And this room is Dominic's room. This is where I kind of tear up um, because I never dreamed that I could give my boys a space like this. And this space is huge and perfect for our kids to grow in. And it's it's just wonderful. I don't know what else to say about it. Here's a different view of this room. Now, the second floor right above this mirrors this room. So Diego will be taking the room right above this. So his room will look exactly the same as Dominic's and the same amount of space. So we're gonna take you guys over here and walk you up the beautiful stairs that Brian has designed for this home. Um, we'll give you the view from the stairs, the uh, view from the platform. So you do get a nice look at that space there and the vaulted ceiling that is um, up in this open room. I almost forgot, this is what you see when you look down. <laughs> Um, so in this open space, we have an option for uh, a game table. I don't know that we'll have one, but it's nice to have that option. And also a second living room. We haven't quite decided what we're gonna do with that space, but Brian put in these beautiful windows when he designed the roof and I love them. And they allow for so much light in this space and uh, you get a nice little 
look at those other columns. Here is the view from the front balcony. Um, I wish that the virtual reality had the view <laughs> that is actually there, but I'll show you guys once the house is built. <laughs> now we'll go back in and we'll head over so that I can show you the rooms that this upstairs has. The first one is a guest bedroom. This sits over the kitchen. Originally, Diego was going to take this bedroom, but then he decided he wanted the one above Dominic's room. I'm pretty sure because it was bigger. But either way, this is a nice big space for a guest. And then we also have a storage room. This storage room does not have any windows. We did not want it exposed to the elements, but this will be our storage space in the house because we don't have an attic or basement. And then I'm gonna give you one more view um, of that upstairs and these columns. I really love how this hallway turned out with these columns and these arches. We'll take you in, like I said, this floor mirrors the floor underneath it. So this is the space above my office. This is a bedroom, but I believe that we're gonna set this up as an exercise room for Fidel. And then we also have a bathroom, same as the one underneath, just a standard bathroom design. So we did make sure that this house had plenty of space if in the event we decided to, like I said, grow our family. And here is Diego's room, which like I said, same size as Dominic's room, exactly the same as Dominic's room. So they'll both have the same amount of space um, and they're just gonna have plenty of space to grow. So here is a look at the exterior of the house. We have cutouts on the roof as well for the tinacos. We will have a cisterna that will feed the water to the tinacos. Um, but all in all, a lot of love is going into this house. And I love that my kids will get to say that they helped their dad build this beautiful home. And once again, I just want to say thank you to all of you for being here and being a part of this. If you have questions, please drop those below. I'd love to answer them. Um, and I hope that you love following along on this journey and watching us build our dream home because this really is our dream home. Thanks guys. Have a good day.